Good day everyone! Welcome to Math with Teacher Justin. On today's topic, we're going to talk about solving word problems involving direct variations. Alright! So in our word problem, the horsepower produced by a steam engine varies directly as the number of revolutions per minute of its operation. If 1,200 horsepower was produced when a machine was operated at 150 revolutions per minute, Find the horsepower it will produce when, when it operates at 170 revolution per minute. So first thing that we need to do is to have our representation. So what are the variables that we're going to have or what are the variables that we encountered in this word problem? So our variables can be found in our first sentence. Okay, so let's have our representation. So our representation will be let h be equal to our horsepower that will be produced by a steam engine. Now, let r be equal to our revolution per minute. And then, after that, we can now have our translation. Since we use the word varies directly, we're going to deal with um, direct variation. So, we will have, since first variable being mentioned is our dependent variable so we will have h is equal to k times r or this will be our solution so knowing that we have two pairs which is 1200 horsepower and 150 revolution per minute we will use that in order for us to get our constant variation so we have 1,200 is equal to K times 150. Then we need to divide both sides by 150 to get our constant variation, which is equal to 8. Now that we have our constant variation, which is 8, we can now use that to get the first power it will produce when it operates at 170 revolution per minute. So we will still use the same equation. H is the one that we're looking for. A will be the constant variation times the 170 revolution per minute. And then multiplying it, we will have a horsepower which is 1,360. And that will be our final answer. So 1,360 horsepower will produce 170 revolution per minute now let's have another word problem for this word problem the weight of an object on mars is directly proportional on its weight on earth rick martinez weighs 120 kilograms on earth and weighs 50 kilograms on mars find the weight of paul watney on mars if he if he weighs 96 kilograms on earth let's have our variable so our variable here can be found on our first sentence, which is the weight of an object on Mars and the weight of an object on Earth. So let's have our representation. Let M be equal to the weight of an object on Mars and let E be the weight of an object on Earth. Since we use the phrase directly proportional, we're going to encounter direct variation we will now have an equation m the weight of an object on mars equal to the constant variation times the weight of an object on earth that will be our equation so for our solution we're going to use the weight of martinez to get the constant variation so since the weight of rick martinez on earth and mars was given we can get the constant variation by just using the two given so let's use that using the same formula or same equation we can substitute the value of rick martinez weight on mars and the weight of rick martinez on earth so we have 50 is equal to k times 120 now let's divide both sides by 120 we will have 50 over 120 and let's simplify we will get constant variation that is 5 over 12. now that we have our constant variation we can now solve for the weight of paul watney on mars so 
using the same equation, okay, substitute the given, which is the constant variation and his weight on Earth. So we have m is equal to 5 over 12 times uh, 96. Okay, then after that, let's multiply. We will get his weight, which is 40. And that will be his weight on Mars. And that will be our final answer. So Paul Watney's weight on Mars is 40 kilograms. All right. So let's proceed to another example or another word problem. And this will be our last word problem for today. So the amount of pollutants A entering the atmosphere is directly proportional to the population P living in an area. If 25,000 tons of pollutants enter the atmosphere in an area with, with a population of 50,000, how many tons of pollutants enter the atmosphere in Manila with a population of 2,450,500? So now, let's proceed to identifying our representation. So our representation will be found or can be found in our first statement. Okay, so for our first statement, we are given two variables. We have the amount of pollutants and the population P living in an area. So in this case, we can now represent that A be equal to the amount of pollutants and let P be equal to the population living in an area. Now let's have our translation or our equation. So for our equation, since we use the phrase directly proportional, we're going to use direct variation. And we will have A, the amount of pollutants, equal to the constant variation times the population living in an area. So this will be the equation that we're going to use throughout our problem. So now let's proceed to our solution. So for our solution, we're going to use the equation A is equal to KP. We need to get our constant variation. Now, for the second statement, if 25,000 tons of pollutant enter the atmosphere in an area with a population of 50,000, that is a pair of pollutant and population. So we will use that, that two given, in order for us to get the constant variation. So by substituting our amount of pollutant, and our population to our equation, we can now get our constant variation. So let's divide both sides by 50,000 and we will get the constant variation that is one half. Now the question is, next is we need to get the pollutants or the amount of pollutants that enters the atmosphere in Manila with the population of 2 million 450,500. So, using the same formula, we will substitute the constant variation, which is one half, and the given population, which is 2,450,500. Or the amount of pollutant, 1,225,250 tons of pollutants. All right. Now that you already know how to solve word problems involving direct variation, it is your turn to try it. Please click the link in our description box below in order for you to test your skills. That's it for today. Again, I'm Teacher Justin. Goodbye, God bless, and stay safe. See you on my next video. Peace.